do not like interviews. <laughs> but you give interviews. You allow them. Um, yes, I do. I cooperate. Fitfully. I think that if I... I have to uh, do that. That is part of what I'm doing, you know. <laughs> How important is success for you? Um, more important is survival. Mm, I like obsessions. Do you still provoke a lot during your concert? Provoke what? Your audience. I never provoke my audience. Stand by, Debbie. 60 seconds, live to air. Okay. <clears throat> We have a very special guest live via satellite from Amsterdam talking uh, to Australia for the very first time about her brand new album, Deaf, Dumb and Blonde. It's Deborah Harry. Good evening. Well, good evening to you. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice to talk to you. I mean, it's been a long time since Australia has had the opportunity to have a bit of a rave to you. Yes, it has. It's, it's, it's wonderful. After your uh, Blondie period, you had a kind of a, a low-key period in which you weren't in the publicity that much. What did you do? to myself. <laughs> I did small projects. Can you mention some of them? Uh, I did a play on Broadway. I did... Um, and it was a funny play. Yeah, it was a wrestling play. And it was very short-lived. And I did a couple of uh, TV shows and I did some movies and I did some soundtrack work. Why don't you use the name Lonely anymore? Because it's not the same. Thing. Um, I'm still Blondie. I, I still can call myself Blondie, but I don't want to call the whole enterprise Blondie. This is different. You call yourself Blondie? People call me Blondie. That's my name. It's always been my name. Is it what you like most to perform? Yeah. So I like writing too. Deborah Harry and you're watching Countdown, you're <laughs> Let's try that one again.